now for you know, I mean, I've talked to as as you mentioned, I've talked to to some uh, you know, also very successful people that you know when they have those kind of I don't want to call it a mental block, but um, perhaps something that's holding them back. They you know it could be through therapy or some other kind of therapeutic methods. For you, I mean, are there any outlets or maybe it was therapy or talking to someone else who was uh, you know a therapeutic source to help you kind of overcome maybe those fears or those doubts that you maybe either had about yourself or your businesses or whatever it may be? Sure. I'll, I'll structure my answer. So anyone that knows me knows I try to always structure the and, and you appreciate this, the answer to, to benefit the audience. In this case, what I'll do is I'll talk a bit about m- what I do, but because I don't think it's that relevant to anyone listening, I'll talk about um, what I've, because I've researched this stuff a lot, what you're talking about, and you've spoken to people that, so you know, you know what I mean. There's different ways for different people. The first thing I'll, I'll preface all this by saying is that the advice that would work for anyone listening right now, the advice that works for you will not work for me or Felix or whoever else. Because understanding yourself, doing personality tests, et cetera, knowing yourself, knowing what, what triggers you will allow you to, to, to base your life around those things, will allow you to do the right things. Like maybe for you, like for me, what drives me is momentum and growth. I've known that about myself for a while now. So everything I do, it always drives momentum and growth. When I used to work I 24-7 and all I did was run my companies, I would do it in an environment that makes me feel like I'm growing. So I would jump on a lot of calls. I would walk around the city center. I travel a lot. So wherever, in whatever country I am, I'd be traveling all the time because that always keeps my adrenaline, my momentum growing. So that works for me. Now, some people uh, like to have their space and like to feel like they're learning like intellectually. They're learning a lot. So reading books could be that for them. So once you understand what it is that drives you, some people are very social. So just being around people. I work well as well when I'm around people. So what did I do, Felix? I like this could, this double, maybe three X my productivity is instead of sitting in my apartment or home, whatever it is uh, working, um, I would work in uh, shopping malls. I was known to go to shopping malls, get a place and work. I don't talk to anybody, just a way to order food and nothing else. Uh, But the reason I did that is because I have people around me and that, Without me knowing, that actually gave me drive to work more. So knowing yourself is really important for anyone listening. There's a reason you can see in the background. Let me see my camera. You can see the staircase here in the background. Uh, where's my finger? There. And right it's there. So I'm in a big place. And I rent because I rent villas. And if you look at my Instagram, I rent villas and I invite my employees and top partners, business partners to work there. We're moving to a new place in two days. Because um, I know that's what drives me. And I'm more productive and I have people around me, my team around me. Um, so I know that about myself and I base things around these things. Now, for anyone listening, first thing, know yourself. Second thing, yes. I have a psychologist. Now, I, I stopped talking to her about a year and a half ago. I haven't gone through depression. I don't think I need a psychologist, but I know it's important to have those people around you. The same way you have a, a general doctor. You don't get a doctor once you get a terminal illness. You get a doctor to make sure you don't get a terminal illness. The same thing with getting people like th- therapists and, and psychologists and all the other terms that you use. Whatever it's, a, it's a normal therapist. It's a business coach. It's a sex therapist. Whatever it is that that person needs. Get those people because they give you a, a step in the right direction. They give you, they give you an edge over others, or an edge in life. Um, then I'd recommend reading the book Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. There's a lot of recommendations in that book, a lot. So it's better of highlighting the ones that apply to you and just testing them out, and then doing the ones that work. Whether it's meditation, which is one of the most common recommendations, um, to eating a certain diet, etc. So I don't think I answered your question directly, but I also did because yes, in brief getting people to help you achieve a certain goal, getting coaches or therapists, et cetera, to help you deal with imposter syndrome. You know, when I couldn't speak in public, I went to Toastmasters. I went to two at the same time. I finished it quicker than anyone else in Melbourne, in, in Victoria, in the state of Victoria in Australia. Um, so I going to Toastmasters gave me, gave me an edge. I know if I start having mental issues, I will see a psychologist. So if you want to improve somewhere, getting a coach, I'm not saying those coaches, life coaches that charge you an arm and a leg. No, just getting someone that know what they're talking about, charge you a, a a reasonable fee and I'm not a coach. So I'm not selling my own coaching services, but I actually believe in having someone guide you through whether it's someone paid or just someone that wants to help out that knows what the hell they're talking about. Just be careful though. Don't work or listen to someone that's either has a big ego or is not self-aware because someone who's not self-aware will not know what they're good at and what they're not good at means they'll talk about things they might not know. Like I'm self-aware. I know what I'm stupid in. And I don't talk about my stupid points. And um, also uh, ego. That's the worst thing. Listen to someone with an ego is toxic. 
Because what happens if they give you wrong advice and they realize later they said something that's incorrect, I don't care how successful they are. I don't care if they're a billionaire. It doesn't matter who they are. If they have a big ego, they might give advice that's not accurate. But instead of correcting themselves later, they'll be like, actually, Mario, the advice I gave you is actually incorrect. I looked it up or, or I, I looked into it. I don't think it applies for you. No, they got a big ego. They can't admit they got it wrong. So they start doubling down on stupid advice. Um, so I don't care how, before looking at how successful someone is, look at if they have an ego or if they're self-aware. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at felix.levine. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.